This is going to be so much fun. I can't wait to see the look on Hagrid's face when he walks into the Great Hall. <sighs> Are you sure he doesn't know about the surprise party? It is his birthday after all. He might be suspicious if we try to drag him back to the castle. <laughs> nah, we'll tell him there's a Snallygaster loose in the kitchens or something. He won't suspect a thing. Uh-oh. Actually, Robin, Snallygasters are only found in North America, specifically on the east coast of the United States. Mm-hmm. He'll definitely be suspicious of that. Oh, all right then. What would you choose? Huh. A mischievous moon calf. Mm-hmm. Fine, whatever. Just don't ruin the surprise. Come on, come on! Wait, don't let him go. He still needs to take his medicine. Uh-oh. Oh, sorry, Hagrid. Uh... Yeah, sorry. We weren't expecting to be attacked by a giant spider. Mm -hmm. Giant? It were not no giant. He was just a wee feller. Uh... Hagrid, you and I have very different definitions for the word we. Oh. Was it injured? You said it needed medicine. <laughs> nah, a bit of a cold is all. One more dose and a cozy nap by the fire and he'll be right as rain. Huh? A nap? Hagrid, you're not keeping that thing as a pet, are you? <clears throat> er, course not. That sort of thing would get you kicked out of Hogwarts. Uh, uh, well, that and maybe some other stuff. Mm. Mm -hmm. Hagrid, were you expelled from Hogwarts? Oh, I was, years ago. Ooh, no way, for keeping a giant spider under your bed. Ah, we're in cupboard actually in one of the dungeons. His name was Aragog, hatched him from an egg and reared him myself. Huh? You raised an acromantula in a cupboard at Hogwarts? Oh. Well, someone had to look after him. Wouldn't have been a problem except that you know who went and opened the Chamber of Secrets. A girl was even killed. Hey. Oh no. Ah, terrible. And old Tom went and blamed Aragog, said I was responsible for opening the chamber. Codswallop, of course. I managed to get Aragog to the Forbidden Forest but the damage was done. Aww. That's terrible, Hagrid. <sighs> yeah, but Dumbledore came to my defense. Weren't the headmaster back then, but he still convinced them to let me stay on as gamekeeper at Hogwarts, which was how I got this here hut. <laughs> Convenient that it's right next to the Forbidden Forest. <laughs> it is at that. Hmm. So... What happened to your, um, pet spider? <laughs> Aragog? Oh, he lived to a ripe old age. Had himself a family, a big one, in fact. That fellow that just run past you was one of his great-great-great-grandkids, I imagine. Uh, does that mean we have you to thank for all the acromantulas in the forest? Oh. Oh, well, yeah. I suppose, yeah. Do. Oh. Well then, thanks. A lot. <laughs> you are welcome. Say, what were you coming to see me for, anyway? Uh, oh, um, there is a... a... dragon in the Great Hall. Huh? What? A dragon? Uh -huh. Kevin! <coughs> I thought we agreed on Mooncalf, Kevin. Um, sorry, I panicked. Oh, a dragon in the Great Hall? That is about the most ridiculous thing I ever heard, unless... Um... Um, unless what, Hagrid? <laughs> well, it's my birthday, you see. And maybe... No, of course you didn't. How could you? Unless you did? Aw, unless we did what? <laughs> I got one! <laughs> Went and borrowed a dragon for my birthday. Uh, uh well... Hagrid, wait! Mm -mm. Well, at least he is going to be surprised.
Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more content, and we'll see you in the next episode. Why is Hagrid asking everyone about the dragon in Great Hall? A dragon in the Great Hall? Run, run, run! Where's the dragon? I want to ride it now. Oops, looks like the party is really picking up now. <laughs>